And good morning to you at 645. All new for you this morning. He's pro lacrosse's all time leading scorer. We're talking about this guy, Johnny Tavares. Did you know, though, he's leaving Liddy leave? <laughs> Did you know he's living a double life? He is a math teacher by day, bandits coach by night. And this morning, Adam Unger is heading back to class with the man of many talents. John Tavares is one of the best to ever pick up a lacrosse stick. And after 24 seasons and 815 goals with the Buffalo Bandits, he's calling the shots behind the bench for Buffalo. A head coach by night, Good job time. and a teacher by day. Where's Rusty? I kind of look at my classroom as my team. I think there's a strong relationship between, you know, what it takes to be a good athlete and what it takes to be a good student. Tavares teaches math at Philip Pocock Catholic Secondary School in Mississauga, Ontario. I want you to be hardworking. I want you to be a team player. You know, I don't want you to be lazy kind of thing. So I list to them what I would want on my team. And could you make my team? He represents even further his leadership and mentorship skills each and every day in a classroom. There's no indicator that he's the Bandits all-time leading scorer in his classroom, but that doesn't mean that his lacrosse career is a secret either. The people that follow sports, they know. You know, people that don't follow sports, they're aware that um, I'm involved with lacrosse, I don't know to what extent. He always presented it as a very humble thing. You would often ask, hey John, how did the game go last, last night? And he'd be, oh, not too bad, only got like 13 points. Tavares got into teaching before his NLL career took off. I get 6X plus 9Y. And it's always been a balancing act. It was kind of like a, a double life, if you if you if you would, and uh, busy life, a fun life, and and uh, it was enjoyable doing both at the same time. But now that he's coaching, there's a lot more between the two lives that overlaps. And both teaching math and teaching sport, I think that you have to have confidence. In nice job to be able to give the student or your player confidence. They're going to perform a lot better for you. Empowering his students of the game and of the classroom to be lifelong learners. In Mississauga, Ontario, Adam Unger, 7 Eyewitness News.